guys. Um, just want to say uh, project update on this video. Um, I finished one project, um, just about, um, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and I also got one of my new freight cars sitting here that I want to show you guys. Got this from Scott Love on Facebook. HO Scale Buy, Sell, and Trade, as well as the flat car I'm going to show you. Um, had one problem with this car. Weight was loose. Fixed it. Always packaged great. Came in one piece. Zach Drill just has, from what I've noticed, problem with the weight staking and staying in it. So, no big deal. Uh, plan on running this probably today or tomorrow at the uh, train club. So, but, you know, really nice car. Might get a second one. Get one in BN. Who knows? Really cool car. Just want something else to run. I've noticed I have way too much CSX. Um, and not enough other railroad rolling stock to run. So, that said, I picked up this also from Scott Love. I took it apart, rebuilt it. Um, it's a TTX flat. Um, was built out of a box car from what I researched. Um, so, I went ahead and painted the rough silver all the grating metal corrugated on the side that would hold the side in real life on the trailer on the sill here in the top is supposed to be silver um, the end silver I also used this it's called liquid chrome it's from Mattel um, chrome pen just pick it up here at your local hobby store um, to do the rims I gotta touch up the uh, rims. Got some overspray on that, or on the tires. Overspray on them. Just gotta clean it off, and it'll be good. But that pen works really great. It's got three different size tips you can buy. Um, but I just went ahead and painted the uh, bars and hinges and stuff. Made it look a lot nicer, and then there's silver paint for the roof. With that said, uh, let's get into. 8973. 8973 is a SD45 2 Y and 3 paint out of the box. It's done completely correct except for missing a few details. Um, with that said, all it's missing is the uh, big MU cables and ditch lights on the front, which are not on, neither of those. And then the SW1500 rear snowplow that's on this thing. And, uh, I just added that, um, had one laying around, painted it black, put it on there, it's details west part, I'll have to look and find out the number, um, in the second update on these when they're both completely done, I'll have all the part numbers for you in that video, um, but, yeah, that's all that's happened on 8973, so let's go ahead and look at A256, um, well, this thing's supposed to also have... Uh, lift rings so this one will be getting lift rings um, it's also supposed to have AC units the old style PTC antennas um, so I'll be doing that also um, I added the dual beacons um, which if you guys want to freeze the screen here's the front of the package that I use are F7 ones they're small enough there's the back um, but they're just the details west part. Um, so I got two of those, one on each side. They're held in with this uh, testers clear parts glue. Really nice. And then I noticed when I got the unit, um, the logo on the front was meant for a nose light. Um, so a really small one. And I know when they did this run, they did one with the nose light and one without. And they just used the same logo. So I used Microsol, brush it on for 10 to 5 minutes, keeping it wet and letting it dry in between and evaporate. And then I followed it up with scotch tape, just regular clear scotch tape. Took the decal off the nose and then Microscale, um, any boxcar logo Microscale sheet has the correct size for Jeeps. Um, so I put that on the nose and it looks a lot better, it's correct size. Um, so now we got the 
correct uh, nose light or nose light nose logo. I'll clear that uh, a little later. Um, also went ahead and added the chrome bearing cap on the front or silver. Um, I just use a Mattel pen for that one. Um, also, uh, it's supposed to have uh, sunshades. Um, I don't know what happened to them. I don't even think this unit came with them because when I got it brand new I didn't have them on it. So uh, I gotta add those. Uh, and then on top of that I gotta do ditch lights um, front and back and I'll show you the ditch lights I'll be using and how to modify them to mount correctly uh, when time comes. They're the same ones I gotta mount on 8973. So, but that's pretty much all guys. Um, plan on putting DCC and sound in both of these and then my dad is building yeah, I don't know. He's on an NS kit, I guess. He's getting big into the NS. So, he's doing a Top Gun train that he wants to get into. So, that's car one of 35 that he wants. Um, so, we'll see. I'm going to probably help him out and get some for him for his birthday and stuff like that. And then, to pull it... Speaking of SD45-2s, um, he picked up 1704 NS SD45-2 horse head logo. Um, this unit, uh, he got off eBay. Really good deal. I think it was 150 um, DC. This will be getting DCC and sound. Um, I got to install ditch lights on this. Um, and put sound in it. Um, I'll do that at the same time as these two CSX units because we're ordering the parts together. Um, but besides for that, um, that's pretty much about it, guys, for projects, what I'm working on, what's new. So um, hopefully in the uh, next couple weeks um, I'll be able to... Uh, share a video with you guys on these updated. They won't have sound right away, but uh, close to it. So Tomorrow, I'll also have a video up for you guys. Um, I'm picking up a new locomotive tomorrow. I have four on hold right now, so we'll see which one we get. I don't know which one I'll pick up. I'll pr probably, it'll all depend on what CSX units are there or if they're uh, just some miscellaneous roads. Um, I got WSOR unit, uh, CNW, which will be a WC unit, uh, and a couple CSX units, and a SP Bicentennial GP40P-2. So if the CSX units aren't there, I'll probably be picking up the SP unit. Um, they are all with sound, so we'll take a trip down to the Model Railroad Club. Um, I'll probably be running 8973 um, and I might run 8256 if I feel like putting couplers back on it um, but anyways guys we'll find that out tomorrow I'm going to upload this video here in a little bit so thanks for watching guys